All right, I'll give you the short video first, and then you tell me if you want the long one. Um, Fram Ultra, even though the box says it's a synthetic blend right here on the top, we all know this is the old synthetic media they had in there, but they did go to a blend, which added more pleats to the filters and more rigidity. You can still get these XG11955s with the metal mesh in there. They filter at 99% efficiency at 20 micron. Uh, this material is 130 inches long. This material is 41 inches, 41 and a half inches long. This is the end cap on the Frame Ultra. It's much beefier, much robust. It's much more robust. And uh, it's you can't rip the caps, the end caps off of it. These are what was on the SuperTech. Very thin, easy to rip off, but actually we're glued in fairly decent overall just not very much glue when you look at it compared to all the glue that the ultra puts in the end caps to hold everything in um, surface area the super tech had 212 inches of surface area and the fram ultra had 130 inches of surface area so it's like five inches wide five and an eighth inches wide 130 inches or no uh 26 inches long 41 and a half inches long you do the math it's pretty close the numbers anyway this is 30 micron at 99 percent efficiency this is 20 micron at 99 percent efficiency the fram ultra is by far the best full synthetic or semi-synthetic filter on the market because of filtering capability the new one that they added a synthetic blend it looks a little bit more like this it's got like a synthetic backing but with a cellulose face and they use the cellulose to actually support the filter and add more filter media to it so they can get rid of the metal screen. Makes the filter a tad bit more efficient. So at 15 micron, it's 99 or 95, 94% efficient or 93% efficient. And at 10 micron, it's 74% uh, efficient. So by adding more media and going to a synthetic blend, they were able to get rid of the metal inside, add more filtering capability, and then increase the filtering at a lower micron rating where this is just a 30 micron rated filter at 30, or at uh, 30, 30 micron, 99% efficiency. Five fifty six dollars fourteen fifty for this filter. But you can go on Amazon and you can get a subscription for this filter and have them send it to you like every two and a half, wait, like two, three, four months. And you end up getting it for like three or four dollars less a filter. That's what I did with my town car. I went with an XG2 and I get it for six dollars and forty cents a month. Just shop around. You'll figure out where the deals are at. But I wanted to do something quick. I do have a long video as well. You let me know if you guys want it or not. I'm just going to load, load the short one first. Because I'm pretty impressed with the Fram Ultra Synthetic. Um, it does the same exact numbers as the AMS oil filter except a little bit better It's just uh, it's a better filter. It's a good filter on the market and They got a bad name because of the orange can you know these are completely different than their other stuff But if it people still want to hate on them, it's fine. It's not up to me. It's just up to me to give you guys the The facts 2.7 liter EcoBoost filter great filter efficient economical uh, seems like pretty good quality overall. I was not impressed with the end caps. Very, very thin, almost no glue. Other than that, it seemed to be a good filter. This would be the filter that I would go with if I'm trying to run my vehicle for a real, real, real long time and I want the best quality for it. It would be Fram Ultra Synthetic all day. Okay, guys, be blessed.